Hey everyone, welcome back to Cuddy's Bookshelf. So I got requested to do a vlog whilst reading both, let me pick them up, both Fourth Wing and Iron Flame because obviously I have read Fourth Wing before so this is a reread for me but I have never read Iron Flame, it's my first time reading it and I did say for my January TBR I wanted to read these in January and then I did get a comment asking for me to do a little vlog while reading. I am going to. <laughs> That's what this vlog is. So I am currently reading The Hero of Ages. And I'm absolutely loving it. I, You can see where I've got to. So I'm not that far in. I think I'm only like 124 pages in. But I'm going to put this on pause as much as it's killing me to do so. Because... Oh my goodness, the way Vin is introduced into this. Ah, oh, it's such a good scene, such a good scene. But yeah, I am absolutely loving this. But I am pausing it just for this weekend. So it is Saturday at the minute. And I thought I would read Fourth Wing again, see how far I can get through this. I want to try and fit these both in over this weekend. But that is very ambitious of me. So we'll see how we get along. So I am about to sit down and start fourth wing so we will start it together um, I don't know how much details I'm going to go in because I'm going to try and make this spoiler free because I don't like it when people spoil things for others and I know that I can put an alert out to say it's spoiler filled but I will describe my feelings and thoughts on the first few chapters of this but then I will try and keep it, I will say, I'll try and make hints at certain things that's going on so then if you have read Fourth Wing um, you'll know sort of thing that I'm on about but for the people that don't have never read this and are planning to read it you will be able to watch this video and I won't spoil anything for you I promise but you will get my reactions to reading this. I will certainly film my reaction to the end of this because I didn't film my reaction when I first ever read it and I wish I had now because it was a strong reaction. <laughs> Let's just say that. It was a very strong reaction. It, I was crying. I literally slammed the book down how it finished because I was like how can you finish a book like that so I am really desperate to get into this one although I know this one has a bit more of a mixed review anyway I won't waffle on I will get to reading and I will talk back with you once I've read a little bit So I've just finished the first chapter and even in the first chapter you have so many feels with this book. First of all, I can't believe how emotionless their mother is. Like even though she is forcing her to sign up to the quadrant that she don't want to do and the fact that with Violet having um, weak bones and everything anyway from this flu that her mum had from when she was younger, her mum is still putting her through the parapet and everything to get into the Radis quadrant when she wants to take after her dad and be a scribe and it's just like even her sister is like she's gonna die she cut she's not fit for this and that lot and I just felt really sorry for Violet because her sister as as much as she's doing it out of love because she don't want her to die her mum and her sister has just literally just stood there saying all of her faults 
and she's just like she's got to mentally prepare to do the parapet to get into the riders quadrant and she's just stood there listening to both her mum and her sister say all of her faults and all the things that she's like calling her weak and everything and it's just i was like i just feel so sorry for her then it goes into like her actually going to the parapet and swapping her, one of her boots with someone and it's like straight away it shows you what sort of character she is like she is loving and kind and it, it's it's just really sweet and it must be really difficult to speak to people and hear their dreams and what the plans that they have for their future and then some of them are gonna fall and and die basically so it must be really weird harsh situation to be in worrying obviously about yourself that you might slip and die but then watching others actually slip and die and then you've got to wait for your turn to still do it but yeah there was that's my thoughts on the first chapter other than the way that she describes Zayden he is he is in the picture and yeah he's a handsome chap isn't he <laughs> the most handsome man she's ever seen and so already flustered about Zayden I can't wait for that obviously she meant her sister mentions Dane and her finding him for help but yeah Zayden I like how their names like accidentally get um, brought up by others that surround them so then they know who each other is but yeah so that's the first chapter done so overall where's the page number is that overall 20 pages but i am going to carry on i'm going to read another chapter i have been i was going to annotate this but what i'm going to do is because i am not rush reading it but you know what i mean I'm, i want to get them read over this weekend i am just having bits that are my favorite parts or bits that stand out that well in this one that i know is going to come to light more in the future but yeah so i've put a few tabs in there you know and then when i do reread these again because i'll reread these again it's going to be a long series so i'm excited for it and when i reread it again i can see where i've put my annotating stickers and actually writing them because i do just have the standard edition of both of these and so I don't mind if I'm squiggling, but I have got where are they? But I have got these, which are you no know, the transparent um, sticky notes. So after each chapter, I am gonna write my feelings because on my first read of this, I have used these. I don't know if you can see them on there, but I have used these with my full thoughts of the whole book, and that was mainly because obviously when I wrap it up, I like to remember my thoughts and feelings as I was writing it and not just so many days after but yeah so I've got those in there from the last time that I read it and then this time obviously I will have more thoughts and feelings but I'm thinking of doing it after each chapter so then I have them to look back on when I do my next reread and then when I do my next reread I will actually write on the page of my thoughts and feelings at the time so yeah it's just making it a different experience each time I read these and so far, absolutely loving it. I knew I would. And I'm really curious as to see if I do have the same reactions during this of things that were that happen in it. So yeah, really enjoying it. That's the first chapter down. I hope that um, that's not too much detail for people that's wanting to read these. Um, I won't be doing that with every chapter. Like I say, I'll do it for the first few chapters of going into more detail about my feelings and what's actually happening in the book but as it gets further on I will just hint at them I keep repeating myself but I just really want you aware that I am not going to be spoiling the whole book for you um but yeah first chapter down shall I go and make a cup of tea and then just jump straight back in or shall I just read another chapter and then go and make a cup of tea I might just go make a cup of tea now sorry I'll make a cup of tea now and then 
I'll get back to it. What I'm also doing this time as well is, if you can see my earbud, I am actually listening to the audiobook while I am reading along because I want to read along physically because I want to tap, like like I said, I want to tap my favourite bits, but I really want a different experience with it as well. I'm really enjoying the Audible for it. The voice actors are doing a really good job, so I'm enjoying that also. But, cup of tea first. And then back to reading. just finished chapter two so that's 28 pages in um i think jack needs to fall to his death redo the parapet and fall to his death and um yeah i really hate him still i think this chapter shows a lot more about um jack's personality and the type of person he is the way that he treats others and Violet's strength even though everyone's calling her weak her strength and using the knowledge that her dad had showed her and um, to get her through something this terrifying I thought was really sweet that she had but it's sort of sad that she has to use something that her dad like a passion she shared with her dad to get her through something that her mum is forcing her to do so that's sad the, in that way but it's nice that she's got that comfort and the thing that she loves the most to get her through her anxiety and I can relate to that and yeah it just shows you although she may have illnesses and appear weaker than others she's still got that strength from within her and I really enjoyed the last little bit where Jack's coming off the parapet and what happens there. And you get to see her being that badass that we know that she's got inside of her. So yeah, that's chapter two done. And if you wanted to know my thoughts on the little sticky tab that I wrote, um, I just basically said, Jack Barlow is a dick. And then just reiterated what I've just said to you. So that was the first thing I wrote on my sticky note. And it is true. I shall carry on reading. Chapter three, I I just feel like some people are just so overbearing and a you no know, way you don't realise it straight away, but when you think about it, it's just like, oh stop treating her like a child and just let her make decisions by herself. It's just so frustrating. But it's nice that people care at this in the same sense. So but I got really excited because in chapter three is where you meet some of the dragons for the first time and they just sound so fierce, so amazing. 
so really enjoying that part of it i am not gonna keep filling you with information after every chapter i think i am gonna go and have something to eat and maybe read a little bit more downstairs but i will get back to you once i've read some more i'm loving my reread so far <laughs> so exciting I'm, I'm on chapter nine so my thoughts up until now where i left you off last time so violet gets gifted something by someone i'm starting to be a bit more vague but she gets gifted something by someone and it's something that she can use to her advantage to help her with the fighting side because obviously that is where she is at the weakest through the last couple of chapters is where she puts that to use and i think that is hilarious the different um different ways and different things that she does it's just finished where Zayden has just offered to spar with her on the mat because her opponent wasn't feeling well and that's where it's ended so I can't wait to get back into it and yes I still haven't been down to have anything to eat because I just carried on reading and then you know got carried away with myself but I am sideways through absolutely loving it 104 pages in I just love this book so much so I am gonna go downstairs now and have something to eat yeah you'll be happy about that won't you yeah so I'm gonna go grab something to eat and probably do a bit more reading but I will let you know and have a catch up with you once I have read some more it is really cold today you're so cute oh i hope that you're enjoying this uh vlog so far i know it's just basically me reading in my library but i don't have any plans this weekend and that's why i chose to do it this weekend to try and get them in so it is just going to be a lot of seeing me read and giving my opinions and there's not much else i can do <laughs> about that so i do apologize but i am really enjoying my reread as any of you reread fourth wing yet did you reread it for when iron flame came out or did you just went straight into iron flame because obviously a lot of people just jumped straight into it because we'd been waiting for it for a while but i'm happy i'm finally getting to it but yeah i won't waffle i will i will i always waffle but i'll get going i'll speak to you soon bye so i'm now on chapter 11 and so far Violet has just seen the gauntlet and had her first go at it. They get like the nine times to practice sort of thing. And obviously she is still witnessing losses within her wing, within her ranks. And obviously now that they're all getting to know each other a lot more, the, the losses are hitting harder for them all. And I think she's just battling with emotions regarding what's best for her because Dane who is completely pissing me off through this 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 book is is just annoying me now because he's always constantly questioning her abilities so she's questioning it too and he's given her other options and she's questioning whether to take them or not and it's like The reason, even though you're questioning like Zayden's motives all the time, but he's always pushing her to fight on and do better. Whereas Dane's just really, really pissing me off. <laughs> I don't want to go into spoiler mode, but it's like, you know, when you need that person that isn't going to sugarcoat things for you, like, you know, it is tough and things will happen that you don't want to happen and it just seems instead of being mothered that sort of is what she needs and she's not getting it from the places that she needs to get it from so but yeah still really enjoying it it's still that's pretty much all i have to update you on 
but I am now on chapter 11. I don't know if I already said that, but I am now on a chapter 11. So we're going to carry on. Chapter 11 is page 133. So still got a whole chunk of a book to go, but I'm tabbing my, th my um, bits that I want to tab. And yeah, that's it. Sorry if this, this is shaky. I'm not used to holding the thingy. That's why I always put it in a my holder thing. I don't even know what they're called. That's why I always put it in my holder thing because otherwise you're going to get a very shaky clip. But yeah, that's my thoughts. Still going. <laughs> and obviously, I still have my reading partner with me. So I am now on chapter 17, which is page 192. And oh, so much has happened. The gauntlets happened. That's been completed. Um, no spoilers, but yeah, that's been done. And then they have now been and done the walk where they have to walk past the dragons and the dragons um, basically size them up and it's a chance of the dragons to incinerate people if they don't like them. They did that and then the next part is where they have to go and try and bond with a dragon and so a lot of things happen during that and Violet is her normal kind self and uses her knowledge um, of what has she has been taught because obviously she was training as a scribe before her mum forced her into being a dragon rider and I like that the knowledge that she gained from training as a scribe is actually helping her in the physical challenges. I just think that's such um, a good way of bonding the two quadrants together. And then I, I really see this is where it's going to get really difficult because how how do you talk about books with with like chapter by chapter without spoiling because there's not much else I can say so I probably won't update you again after this one until I film myself during the end because it's getting too difficult to talk about it so things happen during the dragon bonding thing and Violet sticks up for what she believes in and it pays off for her and then something happens that has never happened before and I'm just really enjoying being around the dragons. I love certain dragons in this book so much so it's really exciting to be back with them. I love that two of the dragons that's in here, one is like really grumpy and then another one is really sweet and I love their relationship together. I mean, Dane's still really, really pissing me off and he, at the end of the last chapter, he just did something that it, I suppose I'm grateful that he did because it makes Violet see that she don't like him in certain ways. But I love that Zayden's advice is also helping Violet um, with like physical tasks as well and there is just some really sweet moments that's happening and I'm just really enjoying rereading them again. Also Violet's mom, what a bitch, what a bitch. It's like Violet cannot do anything that will make her proud or please her at any point it it's just so frustrating because you see how hard she's working and you can see that it's to do with trying to win her mum's approval and it's it's really annoying but yeah so i'll probably not update you again until i'm quite close to the end and i will film my reaction to the ending but yeah i'm just loving it i'm in my tubs <laughs> So 
so I've had a bath and read a bit more. I am now on chapter 25, which is page 310 I have read. I am still really enjoying this. There has been some heated moments and I just love this so much. But this is how far I've got to and I really wanted to read this in one day but I did have like a late start in reading it because I also read some of The Hero of Ages in the morning so I'm hoping tomorrow I can get down the last few chapters and then obviously I will record myself reading them and make a start straight away into Iron Flame and try and get that done tomorrow also so yeah I just thought I'd update you in saying I've got to go to bed <laughs> and I'm still loving this so much. So it is now the next day. I did read a few chapters last night and this morning before I went to sleep and once I woke up but I have just got to chapter 30 and so what has happened just beforehand was they did this like offence defence training and they had to retrieve an egg but all while their team keeps hold of this flag so the opposite team are going to try and protect the egg and retrieve their flag from them so during this training something big happens and violet don't know how to handle it so they get back and she goes to her room and she is upset and it finishes where zayden has just come to her room to make sure that she is okay and that's where i'm about to read from so if you've read the books you know where I am sort of thing I hope that's not too much of a spoiler but trust me there's a lot that goes on during that and I haven't said any of it so <laughs> I think I'm doing well but I'm gonna read chapter 30 and yeah carry it on few chapters so Turns out I did cry again. <laughs> There's three chapters left, I can do this. <laughs> Thank you. 
really enjoyed this again. I love the way this ended. I can't wait to jump into the second one now and see how that goes. I will get back to you once I start Iron Flame. Not me thinking my phone was set to camera and I'm sat there talking to my phone and it took a photo and not actually filmed. But anyway, <laughs> um, I am going to go jump into Iron Flame. I don't think I'm going to get this done at this weekend because time has just got away from me. I have spent most of majority of my time reading, if you can believe it, but I think going through tabbing it and then making notes after every chapter has slowed me down a lot. I don't know, I need some more tabs. <laughs> I'm running out of tabs. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna do this one without tabs. And because the tabs that I do have um, I have other books that I need to read this month that need the tabs also. I haven't got no, I like to, I'm one of the people that like to match my tabs with the book and I've sort of used all the tabs that would go with these books on Fourth Wing. I didn't realise how much I would want to tab <laughs> that book but apparently it was a lot. So I think I'm not going to tab this one on the first go round and just enjoy the flow of it do you get what I mean like just the continuation of it not keep stopping to write notes and stuff so I think I am just gonna read this one and I think I'm gonna read it physically as well because I did try and do audible and physical with fourth wing and it and it was doing my head in so and I think think that slowed me down rather than sped me up don't ask me why this one I probably won't do as many updates because the whole book is a spoiler but i will keep filming whilst reading it i will just put the bits in if i've had a strong reaction to any of it i'm clean So a quick update, I have been reading Iron Flame. I am on chapter 33, which is page 294. I am really enjoying this. I, I can understand people's dislike of it, sort of, where because the last time you had all of the angst from the relationship between her and the love interest and this time they are sort of separated a little bit so you don't get that as much so if you was going into this one wanting as much like fantasy romance as the others you're not gonna get it as much but I really enjoy the times that they are together I am enjoying seeing more of the world and the war and everything that's going on in the world I am really enjoying that I'm I'm loving this and I think it can be, um, I could see people thinking it was a little bit slower because in the last book it was all go, go, go because obviously it was her first year of training so it was a lot of trials and challenges and games, war games that they played whereas this one is a little bit slower in the action scenes but when it when there is action that it's just as amazing as the last one and i'm enjoying the the bits in between i love i prefer a more flushed out world and knowing about the war that's going on rather than just based around the characters themselves if that makes sense so i am really enjoying this one and i am nearly i'd say nearly halfway through 
I'm, uh, I'm like a couple of chapters away from being halfway through and I'm loving it so yeah I am gonna carry on reading this and I'll probably do a bit like uh, fourth wing where once I get towards the end I will start filming me reading it again but tonight I am back at work so I didn't manage to read this obviously in a weekend I only managed to read less than half of this book and the whole of fourth wing but yesterday the Sunday where I was planning on doing my most reading I had a really bad headache and stomach ache and I don't know what was wrong with me I don't know if I had some sort of bug or something but things like that happen to me all the time but today I'm feeling a lot better although I should be asleep right now for work but I've I've just filmed a haul for you guys so this will this will be up after the haul anyway so I hope that you enjoyed that but yeah I thought while I got the camera out I would let you know my thoughts of Iron Flame so far and I'm really enjoying it I'm really really enjoying it so yeah that's my update it will probably be Wednesday before I can actually sit down and film but I do have so what I'll do is I'll stop as soon as I get towards the last few and even though that is going to kill me so much just so you know I'm doing it for you <laughs> but I will stop and wait till Wednesday to read the last few chapters so I can record myself reading them so you can get my proper reactions and then I will carry on once I do get to them I, I am still reading The Hero of Ages so it doesn't matter I can distract myself with another amazing book until I finish this one but that's even if I get a chance to read it might be a really chaotic two nights at work and I might not read a page anyway so you never know do you but yeah I will let you know once I read some more and I hope that you're enjoying this little mini vlog of me reading Fourth Wing and Iron Flame.
What? <laughs> so, I finished Iron Flame. Oh my god. I was not emotionally, like, emotionally prepared for that. That ending. I, I don't know what to do with myself. So that is my reaction to Iron Flame. I, I really enjoyed this. So I know that others have mixed opinions on it. And I think that's a lot to do with because the first one, like I said earlier on, because the first one is all um, trials and go, go, go. And then the romance is like permanently throughout it. Whereas this one, it's not so much about the romance it's more about like politics and the wars and like finding information out to help aid the wars but i really enjoyed it i i i like i like more wars and politics and everything in my fantasy and i really enjoyed the romance in it that was in it so i think it does a good job of making heroes villains and villains heroes and back and forth it it rebecca yoris does a good job of switching what you think about people i think the next book's going to be really really interesting to see where it goes after this one's left off and i'm excited for it that is my vlog for both reading fourth wing and iron flame obviously sorry i didn't do as many updates for this one i was just trying to read it as quick as possible and i didn't think i would read it before my night shift which i'm probably going to be late for now so i hope they don't see this video <laughs> but i uh, need to go and get ready for work now and sort my face out because obviously i've just been crying a lot so i hope that you enjoyed this video um, I'm sorry I've never done like a tailored video to a series before and tried to do it without spoilers but I hope it, it's okay um, if you did like it let me know and I could do more reading vlogs that is on a like a certain book let me know what you think um, sorry if it's terrible <laughs> and you didn't like it but it is my first one it's very hard to do without doing spoilers but yeah i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up if you would like to see more from me please subscribe and i hope to see you in my next video bye i think i'm 124 pages in i've got a runny nose on them i won't thingy thingy on what is it waffle on i've just finished the first chapter and is that recording? Yeah. Cups. So what I'm going to do is obviously because I don't want to film me reading the whole book because um, I don't think I'll have space <laughs> in my phone for that. I am now on chapter nine and the book is upside down. Hey boys, be cute. You're funny. Oh, oh dear. Far. Uh, well done. Forgot some of my eye. Violet ends up sticking up for. Uh, uh, I can't. Is that a spoiler? That's a spoiler. Hmm. Should I really be a booktuber? Because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm in a life crisis. <laughs> Why am I waving? Because you're not going anywhere, but... Diloo! <laughs> Good God. Oh God, that ended. I need to know what happens. <laughs>